In this video, I just want to give you some suggestions of environments that you can place your products in. And also reminder that we have 3D shapes as avatars that you can use for your environment. So here I have constructed an environment that can serve first of all as a background, but also has additional elements that um, here like these hearts, for example, that can serve as a background. Obviously, these particular shapes can be anything you like. So just to show you, if you go to the library, remember that under avatar, we have various 3D shape avatars and any and all of these shapes can be brought to the environment by adding. So right click, add to workspace so that you can bring in a new shape. And that's how I have brought in this shape, this shape, this larger shape and this one down in particular and don't forget that once you bring the shape in so let me just bring a new shape add to workspace you can place it um, wherever you like make sure you're adding not opening if you open it will replace everything that's in there so just add it and when the shape appears um, remember that we can left click on it you have the gizmo tool you can obviously rotate, move things around, move it in space. You can grab it by this cube in order to move it wherever you like. But also when you click on this little square here, you get this gizmo, which allows you to change the shape so that you can make, that's how I created this shape up here. So you can uh, make it larger, taller, bigger, um, and skinnier and then when you're done with sizing and resizing click back on the little square and then you can grab it and move it anywhere you like and just like with any other avatar when you click on this you come to the uh, object browser property editor open both of them select the shape and then come and you can change the texture you can add a print to it that is concept driven specifically for your collection. You can change the color of it, um, give it anything you like and make sure that that fits your overall environment. You can have a multitude of those. And also you will notice here. So let me move this out of the way now. Also notice here that I use the cylinder, which is this shape here. I just made it smaller and skinnier and I simply positioned it next to um, next to this large avatar. I can still grab it and move it out of there if I want to. Since it's an avatar, it does not need to be glued or added there. So I placed it there and then um, these particular shapes are objects, OBJ files that I exported and then I brought back in as an avatar so that they stay stiff and hard. Um, these additional shapes here, the hearts, I actually just created now. They're in my 2D window and they're made out of um, any material you like. Again, you can add color and texture and these I added last to the window and I am not simulating this because the latest shapes that I added here, if I click simulate, they will fall to the ground. So if I click simulate, these will fall down. Now notice that the 3D avatars, so 3D shapes of avatars do not move. And the shapes that I brought in, the objects that I brought in as avatars also do not move. But anything else that I just created, you will need to add last and make sure that you do not simulate so that they just stay in space. So now you can bring in your avatars with garments. You can bring in your other accessories or fashion product, arrange them in the environment. And you can take now snapshots of the 3D window, um, just like that. And make sure that um, you give it the name that you like. Let's say that's presentation one put it in a designated folder and you can take your snaps multi view of whatever you like right so remember how this can be um, any angles any close-ups anything you like and that can help your presentation